Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another Cyborg Plague video. I haven't done one in a long time, but this one's kind of special because I am creating a perp starter kit. Basically I'm going to show you how to A to Z ha from going to setting up to the database to actually connecting it to a real form. Um, now recently somebody released a version of perp that it actually works. Um, and you know I did a little fixing and I have my own custom version on the normal Evo City so uh, throughout this tutorial I'll be doing some stuff but then I'll actually pop on it'll actually pop up to my custom version that I made that I changed the map over to the normal Evo City but we'll get to that later so when you download my perp starter kit what you're gonna see is web files readme SQL files in the ga actual game mode um, I'll also, in the readme, I'll tell you what's not included in here and where to download it. Um, the map's not included. Uh, for file size reasons, the map's not included. So, yeah. Okay, let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to download XAMPP um, for Windows, basically. We're going to be doing um, uh, a mock server. So, uh, you can perform these the same steps steps on a dedicated server when you buy one so let's get started um first thing we want to want to do, 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 do computer downloads i want to go to uh we're going to click on uh xamp and of course we're going to install it okay, just keep clicking uh yep Okay, so it's going to sit here and install. It's finally done. Um, I want to start. Let's start the control panel right now. It'll start the control panel. We want to make sure that it's all active, which is a good thing. Okay, now the next step we want to do is we want to go into the web files and extract that install. Okay, now we want to go to local disk, xamp. We want to go to the htdocs and I always like to create a separate folder and just call it form. What we're going to do is we're going to take what we just extracted and just move it into here. Pretty simple so far. Okay, so next we're going to go to um, here. We're going to go to Windows, System32, um, yeah, etc. And then we're going to mess with the host file. Now, I like to do this. You don't have to. You could just use local host. Um, Basically, that's your local IP address, and I have ftgroleplay.com. So whenever I type in ftg uh, roleplay, ftg roleplay, it comes to a little, our little website that we have. So that's cool. Okay, but what we want to do now is we actually want to go to the forms and set up the forms. Alright, so what we want to do here is we actually want to, well before we do this, I'm sorry, before we do this, we want to go to admin, uh, no, um, we want to create a database, I call it, I call it perp, just for simplicity, actually, perp, create. Okay, so our database is created. We click on that. We want to go to see no tables are found. So now what we want to do is we want to go to import, browse, and we want to browse to our desktop. Perp starter kit, SQL files. We want to populate the perp data. Okay, so it'll say import has successfully uh putting 20 queries. Okay, now what we want to do is remember what we named it. We can close that, open this. 
we want to go back to FT I mean yeah FTG roleplay and we want to go to the forms again I did this already so click continue um the server name we are going to just name the server name that it's going to be root this is just a default the default is no password the database it, and just leave it like that okay so you can name it everywhere anything I'm just gonna leave this default for now click continue uh, continue again FTG Sean. Uh, just put in a password that you prefer and um, an email address. I'm just going to put in a com. There is no password for the database. Remember password, I guess. Finalize install. Click here to delete. Look at our new forms. Oh, so pretty. Okay, now what we want to do is close that, go back to the admin uh, page. Then we want to go to back to FTG perp, and as you can see, our database is full of even more stuff. But we want to add one more table. So import it. Um, we want to add this one. Go. Import has been successful. Okay, and we're done for this. For, uh, we're done with this for now. We can close that out. Close this. Uh, close that. Go back into our FTG. St I mean, perp starter kit. I'm sorry. Um, next thing we want to do is our game mode. Okay, so there's perp. Now let's navigate to. Um, our Steam folder, Steam apps, and what you want to do basically is navigate to the very first Gary's mod, and we're just gonna you're just gonna take this and just um, overrate everything, but I'm not gonna do that because I already have things. Uh, some things set up the way I want it so but you're gonna do that and then click next and everything else so once that's done we're gonna go to the game modes perp what we want to do is we want to go and go to our web files see we have a little nifty registration thing right here let me just delete this um, we want to type in the uh, again FTG perp dot com is a server root no password and then FTG perp is that so I per now save that next thing we want to do is go to here exam HT docs and then we want to go to forms I actually prefer putting the registration uh, Thing in the form so to test it and going to FTG perp and then the forms and if it comes up with this that means it's working so now that we here okay close let me just make sure we set up our um, do, 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 do. We set our, up our SV hooks properly with our database information. So that should be good. If it's not, we'll know. So now what we want to do is we're going to start up Gmod and it should load into the perp game mode.
Okay, so as you can see, we did it. So I'm going to type in a test character name, test, oops, test doe, um, test username and password, I'm just going to type in whatever, whatever, and we're going to create our user. Oh. We're going to create our user. Okay, so now we're in, in the game. We're in perp. As you can see, it's perp. You can... Well, right now... Let's, uh, let's drive. So I'm going to say I want to change cars. I don't have any cards at the moment, so if you notice, um, now you have your server up and running, but you don't have admin. We're going to change that. Let's all tab out. Let's go to close that. Let's go to the control panel and go to the MySQL admin. Now let's go to FTG perp. Let's go to perp users first of all and see it's populated. Now let's go to members. As you can see, that's populated. So what we want to do is change this from a four to a one, which basically means that we're the owner of the server. And in a couple seconds, see, now we're the owner and everything works. Uh, you may notice at the bottom it's kind of messed up. Uh, that's because I'm in the window mode, but everything works up. Works. This is my. Uh, this is not what you're gonna get in the package when you download it. It's a different map uh, all together, and the doors will be there and everything else. I'm just working on converting. As you can see, you can buy stuff. And yeah, so that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment. This might not be the best way to do it, but it's my way to do it. My way to know that it's working. Uh, here's the admin menu. Um, so yeah, enjoy.